All right, another element of the VAST reliability puzzle is virtual IPs, which are basically just IPs that move around. So in VAST, we have two kinds of virtual IPs, the VMS IP, which is a single IP address that runs on whatever C node it happens to be on. And if that node should fail, the virtual, the VMS IP is moved to another node. So that means your customer with their HTTP browser, REST, whatever, just keeps working. They don't even notice the difference. It just, there's a brief delay, you get a, you can't reach VMS, and then you hit refresh, and now you can reach VMS on whatever node it's running on now. Data VIPs work essentially the same way. Every customer creates a data pool of VIPs of whatever size they choose. Those VIPs are automatically spread evenly amongst all of the C nodes. And then of course, amongst the ports on the C nodes. And then in the event of a port failure or a node failure, those IPs are automatically reassigned to other nodes. In fact, the leader does this. So the leader will basically say, hey, this node has died. You guys should take over all of his IP addresses. And those IPs then automatically move. What this means from a application perspective is that a C node fails and they're hurling packets at that C node, they'll get a network level failure. A retransmit will almost certainly occur at the TCP layer. If the IP has already moved, it'll just work. If the IP hasn't quite moved fast enough, it is possible that the TCP IP layer may fail the retransmit, but then at the higher level, NFS, SMB, and uh, S3, there's a retransmit at the higher level, and that will almost certainly reach the VIP at its new location, unless your ARP updates are very, very slow. Almost all applications do not see this VIP failover. drive failures. So I have an SCSM drive, it fails. What would actually happen, by the way, is the node would detect that it couldn't write to it. Some C node would say, hey, I can't reach this drive anymore. It would tell the leader, if the leader decides that in fact, this is really a problem, the leader would notify all the nodes in the cluster that this drive is no longer valid and we need to begin our rebuild process. The first thing, of course, that will happen is all the data is replicated. So all of the nodes that need to read that data, just read it from the replica, no problem there. Secondly, the leader will actually order the C nodes to begin the rebuild process. So there are sections that are now under replicated and the C nodes will work together to get all of those under replicated sections back to two copies. Right now we only have one copy. This process is done by leveraging the space reservation. So every single storage class memory drive in VAST is in use at all times. In, but we reserve one sixth or one twelfth of the space in each drive to allow for space for rebuilds. So if you have a single D-Box cluster, you have 12 drives. If one drive fails, we have room on there to rebuild all of its content on the remaining drives. If a drive fails, support will probably contact you via call mm -hmm. home. A new drive will be sent out overnight. It's either the same day or the next day, and then you'll have the drive on site you know, one day later, and then you can go ahead and replace the drive, and the system will automatically do a rebuild and get back to the happy place.